at some point, we've all fallen. But we're not moved by what we see, what we hear, what we smell, touch, or taste. We're not moved by seasons. We're only moved by the Spirit of the Lord. Your word, Lord. We know your voice and we hear your voice. And we refuse to follow strangers. John chapter 10 verse 27. We do things according to your word, Father God. Our seed is mighty, mighty upon the earth according to Psalms 112 verse 2. Lord, I ask you to expand my territories, to fill me and increase me in the Holy Spirit and anointing with power. Yes, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. That's why it's imperative that we ask for help. Lord, help me. I ask you to lead me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. I praise you. I worship you. I bless you. And I commit all that I am to you. That your perfect will be done through me. I ask that you help me cease from my own works. And I do so by faith. I ask that you cause me to enter your rest now. In Jesus' name, I receive that. Father God, I know I can't do this alone. So I ask you. I ask you to release my warring and ministering angels to minister and war on my behalf. I ask you to fill this, your temple, with as much glory as possible. Help me to prepare this cross that you have prepared for me. And help those in my family. I ask that the Holy Spirit speak to my heart through your word. I ask that you prepare me with reverence and worship with humility through your Holy Spirit. Father God, I ask that you take out of me, add to me, do to me anything you want. And Father God, I ask you now. I ask that your word that I read, that I hear, be engrafted into me, that it become a part of me, my spirit, my mind, my soul, my will, and emotions. I declare by your power, you are helping me and causing me to be bold, fearless, confident, steadfast, faithful, true, and loyal for your name's sake. Lord, I ask for your help. I ask you to deliver me where I am blind. Lord, I ask you to help me not be an accuser of my brethren, but to teach others in gentleness, to be a help in seasons, to edify, to exhort, and to comfort others in times of need. I ask for your love and grace for others. Grace from you, O Lord. I ask for your help, Lord. Yes, Lord. That your love and grace in me flows and administers to others by the spirit that is in me to manifest your presence. And Father God, I do. I release all things into your hands and I commit myself unto you, Lord. I'm trusting you, Lord. But I do, Lord. I need your help. I ask for your help that you give me the word that you want me to give others. Lord, forgive me and help me follow your direction. Lord, I ask that you would send those to me that will receive the gift of salvation, that I might witness to them and let them ask and receive you as their father. Lord, I ask you to give me a clear mind towards you, a clear will towards you, clear from all emotional clutter. It's all about you. Hearing you is easier than thinking. I ask that you cause me to hear you loud and clear and that I rest in you. I ask you, Father, to release your love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control to flow over and throughout my life. I ask you to fashion my heart like yours, that your fruit will abound in and through me to others. I ask you, Father, for a clear, sharp, and healthy mind and body in you. Heavenly Father, I ask for your perfect will being worked out through my life and the lives of those my life touch as you direct me. Lord, I ask for your eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to comprehend and receive what the Holy Spirit says to me. I ask you to guard me and my family with angels and that they manifest as needed. I ask you to make me alert, awake, sharp, 
and the tentative in your thoughts and ways. Lord, I ask that I might prosper in all that I put my hands to do for you. I ask that you renew my youth like the eagle. Lord, I ask for a heart like yours and the growth and maturity to walk in it to the fullness with you. Holy Spirit, I ask and invite you to have your way with me in Jesus' name. Amen.